<laughs> Our next act up to the stage, I guess you would call him Kathy Griffin without tits, Billy Burr. <laughs> Thank you. Keep it going for Rich Boss, everybody. Come on, everybody. And for those of you who saw last comic standing, how about a round of applause for the official end of his fucking career? Come on, everybody. Rich, that was even the worst fucking show I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe you said yes to that. Fucking Al Bell turned down that show. <laughs> Jesus, it's fucking unbelievable. He's been in this business 39 years. He's competing with open micers. You didn't even fucking stand up. You should have looked like Christ. You didn't look like Christ. You didn't even look like a comedian. You look like a fucking landscaper who's just trying the shit out on a whim. But you're dumb. You deserve it. Look at Rich. Rich spent three grand on a watch and eight dollars on his teeth. Look at him. He looks like fucking John Elway. The football player from 20 years. He's been all the chance, people. He's a decent line, right? Maybe if you didn't spit on somebody every 20 seconds. You get a fucking deal, man. Look at that thing. That's not a bridge, it's a fucking dam. <laughs> All right, let's move on, because that's dying. All right, Vanessa Hollingshead is here, everybody. Uh, oh. Vanessa, I've seen you for like the last seven years. I got one question asked about your act. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no one cares about your stupid characters. Just talk about your dick and get off the stage. <laughs> to me, it's a roast. Fuck all of you. Alright, thank you. It's getting worse, people. I'm starting off with the cute ones. Alright, I just got back from the Mike, uh, Mike Birbiglia's one-man show called The Evening with Todd Barry. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Todd Barry, a little advice. Maybe if you brought the energy up just a little bit, you could get a food spot at the cellar. <laughs> Manny and SD just wrote a book called How Dare You Work Another Club. <laughs> Keith Robinson wrote the foreword. I'm going to read some of it. No, Matt, I won't be working no other club. <laughs> Bring it up, Moody, boss. Bring it up, Moody. Come on up the stairs, boss. Come on up the stairs. I'm fucking believable. Keith Robinson sold his soul for free nachos and buffalo wings. <laughs> Just fucking around. I tease the comedy cell. I love the comedy cell. You know what I love about the comedy cell? I love the wide variety of acts that they have on their weekends. On Saturday, we have four wonderful shows. At 7 o'clock, we have Tom Papa, Greg Geraldo, Nick DiPaolo, and Connie Quinn. At 9 o'clock, we have Nick DiPaolo, Connie Quinn, Greg Geraldo, and Tom Papa. At 11 o'clock, we have Nick DiPaolo, Connie Geraldo, Louis Nick DiPaolo, and Alan Hayden. <laughs> I got one question. Who the fuck is Alan Havy? <laughs> Every six weeks I get that. I thought they give you more spots, but Alan Havy is in town. <laughs> oh, well, shit, let's clear the fucking schedule. <laughs> Alan Havy is in town. Jesus Christ, by any chance that you bring Mark Cohen with him? All right, I work with the Sklar Brothers recently. I got one question for the Sklar Brothers. Do they both have to be up there? Is there any reason for both of them? Can't one of them just recite that awful material? Come on, come on, come on. Awful. God, they're ugly. They're the answer to the question, what would happen if Jeff Ross fucked Mel Brooks? Alright, uh, Tom Papa, I don't know if he's here, Tom Papa has a new show coming out this fall, evidently it takes place inside of Jerry Seinfeld's ass. <laughs> Orny Adams lives in the prostate and is called, who are these people on my ass? <laughs> you guys all getting a fucking guest star running, you fucking sell us? Who do we go from here? More bridges. Colin Quinn is still here. God bless him. Colin, come on, round of applause for the one celebrity who's still on the God bless him. Colin, I just have one question for you. Why are you still fucking here? You're at least twice as old as anybody here. No one cares 
about your take on the war in Iraq, and even if we did, we couldn't understand what the fuck you're saying. You fucking mushmouth hack. If you're gonna keep doing spots, at least take a fucking speech class. Tell me, you got your own show. Why are you still here? What do you think? Is that tough crowd's like a stepping stone? You're 58 years old. This is it for you. It's not going any higher. Your brass ring was to get a time slot in a network that gives robots its own show. It's all right. It's all right. Good job. Fuck off, shut up, I got two more here. Uh, you know, just when I thought uh, Marlon and Sean Wayans were the, uh, were the worst related black comics I ever saw, Tony and Sharon showed up. Oh my god, they, they, they're, they're so fucking bad, I watched them, I, I wondered myself, is Keith Robinson teaching a comedy class? <laughs> Jesus, those guys think. Tony Rock is the Frank Stallone of comedy. sell his act to Tony, and Tony's going to go on the road like Gallagher too, except instead of smashing the watermelons, he's going to eat them. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, which brings me to this tub of shit. Patrice O'Neal. What I've loved about him is he's fat and arrogant. It's the oddest combination I've ever seen in my life. Like, he refuses to do comic view. He actually feels that he's above it. I will not do comic view. Patricia, your whole act is perfect for that show. You do 11 minutes, you pretend to talk about Russia, and then you do 52 minutes of pussy joke. <laughs> <laughs> and you won't do comic view? I mean, Patricia, you're so comic. You got a deal for your own TV show. You blew all your money on a pinky ring, a used Cadillac, and football jerseys. <laughs> and you won't do comic view? Patricia, you are comic view. Why didn't you at least get your fucking teeth fixed? Chris, you have the worst teeth in entertainment. None of them match. I worked in a dental office for five years. I've never seen anybody with a molar in the front. You have no business having a headshot. How would Feller call? He wants his old teeth back. Look at the space between his front teeth. He looks like a fat 50 cent. I'm just fucking with them. I do, I gotta do it this time. I'm getting the most fucking grunts here. And Priest is fat. Priest has that awful fat person bad breath where you don't know if it's coming, the smell's coming from his mouth or one of the folds in his neck. Patrice's breath smells worse than Jim Norton's chest. <laughs> I make fun of Priest. I make fun of Patrice only because I'm jealous of his career. Seriously, he's doing great. He just booked the lead in the, to the sequel to Mighty Joe Young. <laughs>